<laughs> so in this next series of videos, we're going to talk through the general health of a goat and ways that we can evaluate that. But before we get into some specifics, what I want to show you first is a generally healthy goat and how they should stand and how they should look and how they should act. So this animal is alert. She's bleeding to her little uh, kid who she's got right here with her. And we can look at her face, we can look for things like nasal secretions, if she's got those it might be indicative of disease, just clear eyes, good hair coat, if we come down here she's got pretty good body condition, she doesn't have any diarrhea or anything like that, she's standing pretty normal as well, her teeth's nice and full, she doesn't have any signs of mastitis, um, and she's nice and plump, we don't see her rib cage. This is just a generally healthy animal. And this is what you want to look for when you're picking out a goat for purchase. All right, so we just looked at a doe and now we're gonna go ahead and look at a kid. Because if you are buying your first herd, it's likely that you might be buying kids rather than bred does or open does, which are does that haven't yet been bred. So this little kid is a pretty healthy looking kid. Uh, she's alert, she's active, she has a good stance, she doesn't have any signs of infection. Her face is quite clear, her eyes are clear, her nose is clear, so she looks good there. Um, one of the things that you might want to pay attention to are the horns. So on kids, uh, they may or may not be disbudded, that means these horns are removed. Some folks like the horns, some folks don't, so it's going to all depend on your management style. And on a little boy goat, they may or may not be castrated. So that means they may or may not have um, their male parts removed in order to prevent uh, unwanted pregnancies in goat herds. So with this little kid, I think she's pretty healthy and she's pretty large. Uh, so she's good to go.